The Sunday Evening Muse now on BBC One with Lucy Hawkins. The first funeral for the three young victims of the Southport knife attack. The public paid their respects as the cortege for nine-year-old Alistair Silver Aguirre arrived at church. You were taken away from us too soon and we often ask why. Why here? Why us? Why you? The family have released this still of Alice. She's waiting to get into the Taylor Swift themed dance class on the day she was killed. Also on the programme, Kyiv is targeted as President Zelensky admits Ukrainian troops are on the offensive inside Russia. On the final day of the Olympics, Emily Campbell's bronze lifts Team GB's total above what they achieved at the Tokyo Games. It means that Team GB have won a medal on each and every day of these games for the first time as a spectacular Olympics comes to its official end here tonight at the closing ceremony. Good afternoon. The funeral has been taking place for the first of three girls killed in Southport. Hundreds of people lined the streets as the coffin of nine-year-old Alice de Silva Aguirre was taken to St. Patrick's Church. Ribbons and balloons were tied to lampposts and garden walls. And Alice's parents paid their own moving tribute. You moved our world with your confidence and empathy, they said. We cherished every milestone. You completed us. Fiona Trott is in Southport for us. Fiona. Russia has carried out overnight missile and drone attacks in several areas of Ukraine, including the capital Kyiv, where at least two people have been killed. It follows Ukraine's surprise ground incursion along the border into Russia's Kursk region this week. The Kremlin has released Defence Forces video. It shows its efforts to counter Ukraine's offensive. Here's our security correspondent, Gordon Carrera. To Paris now, where the sporting action has ended in the Olympics. There's just the closing ceremony to come this evening. Let's join our sports editor, Dan Rowan, who is there for us a fantastic couple of weeks, Dan. And we have the closing ceremony to come still. Dan, thank you so much. The Business and Trade Secretary, Jonathan Reynolds, has called on the insurance industry to act swiftly to compensate homeowners and businesses affected by the recent riots in England and Wales. And our business correspondent, Mark Ashdown, is with us. Mark, are most businesses likely to be covered? Though? Mark, thank you. A new artwork that appeared in the City of London overnight has been confirmed by Banksy as the latest in his animal series. The school of fish painted on the windows of a police sentry box is the street artist's seventh work in as many days across the capital, as Yasmin Rufo reports. Yasmin Rufo, BBC News. We will indeed, and that is it. The next news on BBC One is at 5 to 11. That's after the Olympic closing ceremony. Now it's time to join our colleagues across the nations and regions for the news where you are. Goodbye. Hello there, I'm Angie George. Welcome to BBC London. It's now more than a decade since Jason Moore was jailed for life for the murder of a man in East London. His family have been fighting for his release ever since, insisting he's innocent. Now the Bishop of Stepney has written to the Justice Secretary describing the case as a miscarriage of justice. Alison L reports. And finally, it's been confirmed that a new artwork by Banksy has appeared in the City of London. This time it's swimming fish stenciled on the windows of a police box. It's Banksy's seventh work on an animal theme in as many days across London, which have included a goat, pelicans and monkeys. Well, let's have a look at the weather now. Here's Sarah. Well, that's all from us. We'll see you again at 11.20. Do have a good evening. Bye for now. Hello, we'll hope you've had a fine day. The weather's been beautiful.